Hey there, everyone, this is Vembran, and welcome to a new chapter of La Mulana. Alright, so we still have our sweet knifing skills here, and I'm not 100% sure of what I should be doing next. Um, <clears throat> and for sure I'm not done at the Immortal Battlefield, and for sure I'm not done in the Topsy-Turvy area. At one point I'll, rem I'll take a time to remember the name of that place. I just don't know what I want to start. Well, I'll start with the one that takes the longest to get to. I'll, I'll make another quick visit through that area, just check up on, you know, the possibilities. Also, there's what um, Mulbrook told me about Alfwyn that I need to check out too. But yeah, there's still a lot to take in from this area. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, I know what I want to do. And it's right below me, actually. Or no, actually, that was not the one I needed to do yet. I was thinking about this, but yeah, no. Alright. Back to thinking. Don't even try it, uh, dude. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a lot more lost than I could to be when I came here. Gate of the Dead, that's the name of this place. Alright, for here, I think I need a... Actually, there's a... I need to put something heavy here. Only I could move those pots around. It would give me a solution, but <clears throat> right now is that's not possible. No, can't attack the ground. Not a fan of that little ledge that can stop me from jumping up. Who's over here again? Oh, the shop. I keep forgetting about her. Uh, no. There's that, uh, thing that I can pick up. Yeah. To let myself drop like this. Alurna. Oh, that doesn't open? Okay then. <clears throat> well, I feel stuck there, so what I'm gonna do is uh, head back to uh, the Immortal Battlefield. Um, one thing that I can do though is uh, take the long way. Or do I have to take the long way, actually? I think I can just climb that, and I want to go get that, uh, that chip data that, uh, that that's underwater where I fought the uh, Cetus. Wait a second. Okay, that's just open the gate. Never mind. I saw that uh, pedestal, I was like, did I never put anything on that? And I indeed did never put on... Uh. <laughs> Need to remember traps. Although I never fell in that one, so it's a new one for me. There. Oh, okay, it's Cetus. So I get information about him after. Uh, after killing him. Did I ever go down there? Come on. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. I 
I don't know where the trap is for that uh, top part, and I don't want to go anywhere near it just in case. Yeah, so that's where I fall down from the top area. Can't push that. But there is a switch up there, but I can't reach it yet. Uh, so much stuff I don't have. <laughs> so here. I yeah, could make a bridge at one point. Can't get in there. Did I ever talk to whoever's in this door? Did you know the place called Takamagahara? It is the land of exile for the first children. Those who have lived in Eglana since time immem immemorial. The fool are barking about fighting against those who comes from the sky. Even more foolishly, they have erected a fortress around their home so that none may enter. Without the means to dig below, one cannot meet with them. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm fine. Thank you, Kubeta. I feel I talked with you before, but I don't remember, like, that text in particular. Did I go up here? Oh, yes, I did. Damn you. Hey, there's this pl Oh, Ratatosk, I forgot about you. God, you hurt, though. You know what? I'm just leaving. So, yeah, he likes to, uh, charge you. I guess I can spend a little bit of time trying to kill him. At least it's something to do. Not so fully healed. Uh, not divine, immortal. Because Renatusk has to send to bring me somewhere that I want. But that's why it's actually worth it to fight him. Oh my god, I killed these guys so fast now. Well, I killed everything so fast now. Off here. I'm all right. Look back, look back. Oh, never mind. I'm too high right now. I would rather not get hurt if possible. Okay, Ratatox. My whip would probably work better against you, but then my knife does more damage. But I'm probably gonna fight you with my shurikens. Oof. That was more like it. How much HP do you have? Oh. Ha! Perfect. Did not get what I wanted, though, but at least I got a crystal skull out of it. Words of Mumu. On our ship, on our ship Nibiru, rest the Master Skull. Our great will shall be given to the bringer of the awakening. A will too great to be contained with its such a puny dumb body. Ye who had scattered all twelve skull, carry on our will. At the same time, I will also read... I don't remember which one was the last one I read. No, this one I'm missing. The second children. The second children are said to have lived in the shrine of the frost giants. However, it is written in surviving texts that these second children were wiped out through civil war in the ruins of La Mulana. It wasn't the giant who were in the shrine of the. It wasn't the giants who were in the shrine of the frost giant, but a number of the Lokapala. It appears that none of the second children remain in Eglana either. The civil war amongst the second children was caused by the ninth sibling who held the power at the time, 
The text detail, details nine siblings, Zebu, Bado, Miguela, Ledo, Futo, Abuto, G, Ribu, and Saki. Saki is the one that we fought. Um, detailed information on these siblings can be found accompanying some very nice stone statue found around the ruins of La Mulana, now a storage spot. Possibly due to the fact that they were indeed giants, this race turned out to provide an excellent workforce. It is said that among all the various races born from the mother over the centuries, it was they who came closest to achieving the, the final goal of returning the mother to space. They had apparently been successful in making contact with extraterrestrial beings, and they made it as far as developing a rocket ship technology. But even these advancements did not provide the power required to send eh, the huge mother off into space. This is where the opinion divided. Continue trying to return the mother to space or resign themselves to the fact that the mother would remain here on Earth. The nine siblings split into two opposing factions, leading to war. According to the text remaining inside La Mulana, it was the youngest brother, Sakit, who ultimately wiped out both sides of the conflict. Nothing is known about Sakit's motive nor intention. Huh. No, I don't have that, uh, that cog, though. But anyway. I killed, uh... I got the tusk. And yeah, I, all thanks to the Vajra, <laughs> The, the Vajra. Because, um, I've been uh, mispronouncing it after looking at the pro- uh, Looking at the word properly, I realize how... I was supposed to say it. Um, no. Yes, the Immortal Battlefield. I'm forgetting the name of this place for some reason. Just keep on cutting them. I'm not gonna get skewered. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I need a dinosaur figure for that. I can't make it in there safely. I want to see what happens, though. They're just like as a... Uh... Ah. See. But yeah, I need to be able to stop time to go there. Yeah, even if they wouldn't have told me that uh, it was possible to stop time in this game. It's easy to know where I would need it. I nice try though. All right, so we're back here. Ratatoska is dead. I wonder, can I? Nah, I thought it would make me fall or something. Oh, they can't freaking breathe fire. These guys, since when? I really need to come from that side. But the only way to get on that side is through that uh, very long trap. That's gonna attack me if I try to slash it. So much that I don't know right now. Okay. Oh. But how? Not like I can grab on to the wall as I fall. There's also this big cracked X here that looks like it would mean something. Okay, let's go down there. Mm -hmm. 
such a huge place with so many cul-de-sac. Nope. Not allowed. Yeah, there's that up here. That is of somewhat interest, but I don't know how to, you know, open it. Can't cut the ground, unfortunately. And why are there spikes here, of all places? Guys, yeah, a bomb in his back, I just realized. And that was the way to the um, to the cliff. Can sort of reach him. Vimana. This one, this word, this area is so weird, though. Like, just the the difference in like tile set is a little weird to me. <laughs> like, it doesn't belong. Yeah, there's that that I can't open. By the way. Do, what can I do? Because ultimately, yes, from before, I don't have any new, uh, you know, movement enabled to me. It's often I uh, haven't done much over here. Um, why can't I go? At my emails. I removed my emails. Okay. Okay, yeah, she tells me about uh, needing the the Earth Spear to get into Offwin. Yeah, I just realized there's a lot of um, fairy statues here. And fairy relief. Really, yes. And is this where I, I got my hands on the first fairy? Did I ever go over there? I'm gonna have- well, let's just go and we'll find out, huh? Try not to fall down this time. That's a snake, yeah. Did I ever talk to whoever was in here? I do think so. Oh yeah, her. And yeah, I remember what she was talking about. But I really just want uh, 
you know, another, um, whatchamacallit, either another seal to break or a, um, wait, where did that lead? Ah, oh, damn it, wrong side. Another seal to break or the earth spear, because there's so many puzzles I could open up with just that. Can't take, can't go down here. Stab you in the back, that always feels nice. Wait, there's a treasure open there. I feel like in the first game there's gonna be a pot I can uh, Mario pipe into. There's a shop here. Somewhere. There we go. Can't push stuff, so that's not a possibility for me. That's something I can do, and there's some writing there, but... Not much I can do more than that. <sighs> Frustrating, man. Frustrating. What's up here? Okay, there's a snake door here. Oh, I can't kill it. Can't go in there safely. Well, I can't really go anywhere safely. I need rolling shurikens to go here. That's back at the beginning. <sighs> seriously don't know, man. I seriously don't know. Here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I'll go through here so I don't have to go all the way around to get back there. I oh, can't make it in there because I need to push that. So frustrating, okay. Well, it's clearly the, the seal that's gonna open this. Hmm. Can I attack you? No? Okay. That's something I needed to know. Shoop. Ah. Completely forgot. I, I didn't even see it until I was in the middle of jumping. Well, now I'm just stupid. I don't even know if this is where I want to go, though.
What's over here? Cul-de-sac. <laughs> Lovely. And here leads nowhere to... What the... Oh, no, okay, I grabbed the wall. Oof. Okay, I'm out of here. <sighs> but that really does not help me, though. I really don't know where I need to go. And it's kind of frustrating, because I did a lot, but... At the same time, it feels like I didn't do anything. And it's... yeah, not fun. I'll check out uh, the Gate of the Dead one last time. With the few minutes I have left uh, to today's episode. No, but maybe something's gonna scream at my face. Not allowed. Alright. Oh, so this is here. I never came here. Watch the light of the room's five statues. Speak the word that represents the raw. Alright, so there's nothing I can do over here right now. But what I'm gonna do is get over here. And then down here. Hopefully there's gonna be a way for me to get back up with the right orientation. <gasps> oh my god, there is. And I got the save point. Oh man, okay, okay. So I'm actually on to something. Stay away, you. So, that's what we're gonna do next time, then. We got some new areas in the Gate of the Dead for me to explore. And... Hell yeah, okay, yeah. I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm happy. At least I got something done today. Outside of uh, the rat. Well, anyway. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next chapter of La Mulana 2.